Ludwig Maidner. Ludwig Maidner, 18 April 1884, 14 May 1966, was a German expressionist painter and printmaker born in Bernstadt, Silesia. Maidner is best known for his painted, drawn and printed portraits and landscapes, but is especially noted for his apocalyptic series of work featuring his stylized visions of a pending transformation of Germany before World War I. Overview 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 Ludwig Maidner was apprenticed to a stonemason, but his apprenticeship was not completed. He studied at the Royal School of Art in Breslau, and from 1906 to 1907, he studied painting at the Académie Julian and Corman Academies in Paris, where he met and became friends with Amdio Modigliani. He returned to Berlin to work as a fashion illustrator and produced views of Berlin. In 1912, he began a series of paintings that marked a radical departure in style and would make his reputation. Apocalyptic landscapes, such as the 1914 graphite drawing at the Art Institute of Chicago, are interesting because Maidner executed them before any of the devastation of the First World War. During the same time, Ludwig co-founded the German expressionist group Dipathetiker with Jacob Sternhardt and Richard Janther. Their focus is on the use of pathos in art to get an emotional response, which can be seen in the apocalyptic landscapes. However, his art group disbanded after their first art show in 1912. During WWI, Ludwig served in the German military as a French interpreter and an infantry soldier. After the First World War, Maidner turned to Orthodox Judaism and began producing more Baroque, like religious paintings, including a long and repetitive series of portraits of prophets. He was an habitual self-portraitist, producing a series of Rembrandt-inspired self-portraits. His portraits from 1915 to the end of the 1920s are a gallery of the leading expressionist and daughter writers and poets. Maidner himself increasingly turned to writing. He produced several books of dense expressionist prose and contributed to many newspaper articles. In order to escape antisemitic repressions, he moved to Cologne where he became an art teacher at Yone Jewish School in 1935. In 1939, he fled with his family to England. His wife, Else Maidner, was also an artist where he was interned as an enemy alien on the Isle of Man. He stayed in England, unrecognized, hovering on the brink of poverty until 1953, when he returned to Germany. Although the years in exile were a period of hardship and disappointment, he created an extensive oeuvre of very original works during this time. Among those are drawings and watercolors on religious subjects, humoristic scenes, and a cycle on the Holocaust. In 1963, he had his first major exhibition since 1918 in Recklinghausen and Berlin. He died on 14 May 1966 in Darmstadt, aged 82. Maidner's artistic bequest is now part of the collections of the Jewish Museum Frankfurt. Painting, painting. Ludwig Maidner created numerous portraits throughout his life as a painter. His portraits are known to be distorted with flowing movements that create unusual perspectives in the paintings. This form of distortion and his unrefined brushstrokes is credited as helping to create an emotional sense of depression and anxiety in his portraits, which in turn deterred many from getting portraits done by Ludwig. Multiple expressionist writers, such as Johannes R. Becher and Max Hermann Nace, got painted portraits done by Maidner. Other than portraits, Ludwig also created multiple landscapes of Berlin, which are frequently known as apocalyptic from the style of the pieces. However, only a single painting is directly connected the idea of apocalypse through the title. While some people believe they predict the oncoming of WWI, others see it as presenting the movement and chaos of the urban world. The series, produced rapidly in a hectic heat wave, are sometimes considered some of the purest expressionist works in them. Comets cross the sky like cannon shells, fires rage, men scream and flee for their lives, buildings totter on the edge of collapse. Maidner would, however, never repeat the intensity and creativity of the apocalyptic landscapes. Printmaking 
Ludwig's prints are made mostly through the processes of hard ground etchings, lithographs, and dry point. He continued making portraits in printmaking, such as a lithograph Theodore Dauber and an etching of Johannes Becher, that are reminiscent of his painted portrait style. He also created an eight-piece collection of lithographs known as Creed War German. The different prints show scenes of battle, death, bombs, guns, and overall destruction. They are made near the start of WWI to protest the war and show the horrific outcomes of war. These prints show Ludwig's far-left political views on war and his connection to the Social Democratic Party of Germany. Writing Along with being a visual artist, Maidner is also an author of poetry and stories. While he mostly wrote poems, he also wrote a short story and three books, Gang in Die Style 1929, September Stay 1920, and Im Nack and Das Sternemir 1918, none of which became popular. Maidner created a large majority of his poetry during his time at war in WWI, since he did not have much time or supplies needed to paint, draw, or make prints. A large majority of his writing has a darker tone and eerie stories, which are told from his point of view on the world. However, Maidner's writing never grew in popularity as much as his art did with the Expressionist.